G'day, I'm Jared, the CEO of Web Drill, the underground diamond drilling specialist. And today, we're going to be discussing our Dimec MCR. Let's get right to it. For this video, we need to go back to the beginning and explain the story to you where it all began and where it is now. The original MCR came with a 75 kilowatt electric powered unit and a different configuration of motors, pumps and optional extras. The web drill specification MCR has 28 modifications made to it compared to the original standard product from Epiroc. I'll quickly touch on a few key points worth noting. We took it upon ourselves to upgrade the standard rig to a 112 kilowatt rig, which is a 90 kilowatt and a 22 kilowatt electric motor running different hydraulic circuits. The rig also has a flight pump receptacle, so you can run a 20 kilowatt pump at the decline face if you find yourself drilling there. We have 100 metres of trailing cable, which is a power cable off the back of the rig, which runs to the jumbo box. So anywhere a standard twin boom boring jumbo can operate in the mine, a web drill jumbo is able to plug in and operate in these areas of the mine. The rig is water cooled with heat exchangers, and the rig has the rig control system 4 program that runs through it. All of our rigs in the fleet are RCS4. The feed frame has a BQ to HQ size rotation head, so we can drill from BQ, NQ and HQ sizes, all with the same components. We simply just have to change out the chuck jaws, which is what grabs the rods and drill. The boom has a new style turning device and rollover, so the angles you can drill you can actually drill back on yourself towards the carrier is well past 180 degrees from other previous designs. The rig is also very narrow at 2.6 metres wide. Everything you need is on the rig, such as the water pump, VHS radio for comms, and the control panel we like to leave on the carrier as it's an open cab. The rig has a very low centre of gravity. The driller, or the driver, sits in a high position and has great visibility both forward and rearward. With our design drill rigs, all of the weight sits down low, and we like to keep that centre of gravity low. So it's a very nice rig to tram underground and very stable. All rigs come with last run unattended drilling. We set up the laser barrier system at the access. So when we leave the drill site at the end of shift or during mid-shift firing, the last run unattended drilling function, or what we call auto drill, is left drilling. The rig has a beacon flashing on it and that tells anyone that comes into the drill site if we're not there that the rig is an auto drill. If anyone does proceed past our chains and breaks our laser barrier beam, then the rig goes into a shutdown process. The balance and ramp times can be set depending on depth of each hole. The importance of this is that every rock has a different hardness or MPA and this is programmable in seconds. The last point to note is the time and speed at which you can have the hole flush down. Once the 3 metre run has been drilled and you are not there, this is fully programmable at the control panel. In my opinion, that's the best automation package that I have worked on, ever. We have spent years learning its benefits and we take advantage of it when we can. Well, that's a quick snapshot of the MCR. There are plenty more positive things I can say about our rigs uh, and why they are so liked by the drillers coming to, to join us at WebDrill. Once converted, they all say they'll never go back to a pilot hydraulic. We hope you found uh, some of this information helpful and please feel free to reach out to us if you have any more questions. That's a wrap.